and rise and shine. You can see just a little bit of sunshine kind of out there. I said peaks of sun in the forecast. That's exactly what you're getting. All right, so delicious. I say yes. It may be a matter of personal taste. Definitely nutritious, though. It's full of protein. We're talking about eating bugs. We did this just a little a uh, few weeks ago on Good Day Colorado. Edible instincts enjoyed by about 2 billion people around the world. Many restaurants are starting to jump on board with this and joining us in the kitchen today is Wendy. She's a CEO and founder of Rocky Mountain Micro Ranch. It's Colorado's first and only edible insect farm and you got a pretty cool setup too. Where are you guys set up at? We are set up in West Denver okay. um, in a shipping container. And that is solar powered solar I believe. Solar powered, yep. Um, and it's just right in the middle of the city so it's a perfect kind of urban agriculture. It no waste. It's a cool little spot there. Yeah. Uh, the shipping container, obviously low on the square footage, yes. so you don't have to worry too much about rent in downtown Denver. 360 square feet. Uh, it's not yeah. bad. It's a cozy spot where you can go and you can pick up some uh, some bugs to cook with. Yes. Which is what um, we're doing today. Let's crickets do Crickets and mealworms, which we've got here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm a cricket bug farmer, um, so not a chef. So I thought it'd be fun okay. to look at how... You know, a home cook could incorporate insects into How their diet. How you throw this into your meal? Throw it into your meal. I'm also a mom, and so quick meals are really a mainstay. Quick meals that are nutritious, right? Okay, That's the right. gold standard. All right, so let's do this then. Yeah, what do we got let's here? Do this. Uh, this is, by the way, not your normal average pasta, is right. it? Right. No, this is, well, it's above average in nutrition and taste. So right. it's a, yeah. It is a tagliadelli. I never know if I say that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll get emails that. about it. We'll be fine. Yeah, no doubt. Um, that is augmented is, uh, and it has cricket powder in it. Really? Which basically adds a, uh, a great deal of protein and calcium as well as iron and B12. So it's basically a way to have this wonderful convenience food that we many of us rely upon uh, with more nutrition. So do you just cook this up like a normal pasta? Totally. It takes uh, six to eight minutes just like any other pasta. You can see that it holds together beautifully. Right. I just added a little bit of olive oil to this so that it doesn't stick. Okay. And then um, another mainstay are nice uh, you know, jarred sauces. <laughs> Just any, I mean, anything really. Anyone and you add a little tomato paste love. to it and yeah. put some veggies in it and you're mm, good to go, totally. right? Totally. And then instead of a meatball or some ground meat, you could have some already roasted crickets or mealworms. All right, mix them in. Let's All do right, this. Let's yeah, do go this. ahead. I'm, I'm hungry. I'll yeah, let's get our bowl over here. So, the idea is basically to, just like you had veggies, like yep. you said, is sprinkle to them on in. sprinkle them on in. It's really nice if they're already crisped. If you get them whole frozen, mm -hmm. which you can from us, you would want to uh, rinse them before you cook them. Okay. Um, and then like any vegetable or fruit? Just like any right. vegetable or fruit, or many people rinse the meat that they okay. cook. Um, you also want to roast them at about 325. The crickets can take... So like pumpkin seeds. It's so much like nuts. I always <laughs> okay, say that. Yeah, it's yeah. also just like with insects, just like with seeds or nuts, you know how you have about 30 seconds between beautifully roasted and horribly over-roasted and smelly. And right. Yeah, yep. so. All right. So, uh, so you, can, you can plate this up for me. And while okay, you're great. plating it up, uh, I'll definitely have a little bit of taste when, you, when you're done. But okay. uh, tell me uh, how much nutrition is in this? Because we were talking about this during the break, and I was actually surprised. Yeah. Like, how much protein is in, uh, in a serving of crickets or mealworms? Totally. So if you're looking at um, crickets as a whole insect, then you've got about um, you've got about the same amount of protein as chicken. And okay. it's a complete protein, all the amino acids. Just throw it all in there. Okay, Put some good. sauce I on know. top of there. I'm not shy. Obviously home chef in here. <laughs> um, so the, um, I also brought three forks so everyone could have a bite and Oh, I'll share. make them try it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure you guys are working hard. You need nutrition. <laughs> the, um, the other exciting thing about crickets uh, in particular is that the amount of calcium they have. So they oh, are think of that. The, there's as much calcium by weight as milk, mm -hmm. and then there is as much iron. You keep talking, I'll keep eating. Yeah, you start stirring that up, get that sauce everywhere. Get a nice little, I'll just get a break off here. The here iron is as much as, um, is as much as spinach by weight. Oh wow, so it's it's super nutritious then. That's why two billion people eat it. That is part of why. The other thing is that it tastes great. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. If people are like, yes. oh, you're eating them, I'm like, it tastes like a, like a, like a sunflower seed. Well, and also sometimes it tastes a little bit like shellfish, which is mm -hmm. why there's the possibility of, a, of an allergic reaction for people who which are Which I'm not allergic to. Which we, I asked you before. I'm telling you, they're all like holding their faces over there. Sam looks like she's about ready to die. 
Uh, it tastes, it's fine. Like, it tastes like any normal other food, seriously. Well, and if, um, if we, ha you know, if you have uh, a food that's prepared by chefs, for example, at mm -hmm. some of the restaurants that we sell to, uh, they, they of course, make beautiful, really elevated dishes. But for a home cook, you can add a lot of yeah. nutrition. and It's not bad. All right, so real quick, uh, what restaurants actually use this in Denver? Yeah, so we've got um, product at Linger, Lania, and also Comida at the Source. Popular spots. Linger's a totally. super popular I spot. I know, and they do a beautiful empanada. We also, I wanted to show that we have a little bit of dessert because uh -huh. you always need to follow. Mealworm chocolates is Mealworm what that looks like. Mealworm truffles. Oh, uh, truffles, all right. A little bit of mezcal. These are made by Cultura Chocolate, which is another local company. These are chirping brownies. They're just uh, made with cricket powder. Cool. And this is a sesame ant brittle. All right. Well, I will eat those. I'll definitely have the brittle for sure. Yes. Uh, we have to go over to traffic, so we'll do that. I'll have a little taste real quick, and then uh, we'll do weather. All right. Well, uh.